Do you like coffee? What about when it's in lake form? Is this a stupid joke? Yes, but I've got Coffee Lake news today, so stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before I get started, make sure to check out the GamerMeld Discord server. It's a great community where we honestly talk all things hardware and gaming. I'll have that linked in the description below. On to today's news and subsequent commentary. It looks like we have a couple updates on Coffee Lake. Intel's 8th generation core CPU codename based on an updated 14 nanometer process. The first update has us visiting Twitter, where ASRock answers a pretty simple question. Will the Z270 supercarrier get support for Coffee Lake? The answer? Coffee Lake is not compatible with current 200 series motherboards. Oh boy. This undoubtedly means it also won't be compatible with any of the 100 series chipsets either. ASRock has deleted the tweet, but multiple news outlets are hearing the same thing from their sources. <sighs> Intel is supposed to have gotten away from this TikTok architectural change timeline, which sees a new die size and subsequent socket every other year. This new type of release schedule doesn't seem to help all that much, considering, yeah, according to this, it still uses the LGA 1151 socket, it just won't work on the older chipsets. Now, I will say that with me being a little frustrated in this move, I actually do get it. And here's why. If Intel truly does move up their core count, which I'll get to in a minute, it is hard to believe that they could easily use the same chipset, whether it utilizes the same socket or not. A lot of people call them out on this being some kind of money grab, but I honestly doubt it considering they don't exactly make their money in motherboard sales, so having a much higher cost to entry just means less CPUs sold, as well as giving current Intel board owners a possible reason to jump ship to AMD. Really, the simple fact is that people want more cores, so Intel seems to be trying to deliver. Unfortunately, if they immediately move to Cannon Lake, I highly doubt it would support the same 1151 socket, much less an older chipset. So basically, you may have to upgrade again next year. This does seem to be in sharp contrast to AMD though, with them stating to be aiming for a talk 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 approach, which should see AM4 supported for nearly 4 years. With that said, changes in chipset do come due to improvements in technology, and there's absolutely a chance they'll do something like AM4+, Plus, which could see the same support issues on older motherboards we're likely to see with the upcoming Coffee Lake. Only time will tell. Okay, back to the 6-core CPU talk. It seems there were some Intel slides that leaked, giving us even more of a glimpse of Coffee Lake. Originally published by a forum user on PC Eva, and then found by what seems to be WCCF tech since quite a few outlets have grabbed the story, so it's tough to figure out the first one. Either way, you can see their product roadmap, which shows us Coffee Lake will in fact come in both 6, 4, and dual core variants, and is set to release this year. It comes in at 95 watts with the K variant and the 65 on the mainstream line. It certainly seems Intel is trying quite hard to push back Ryzen, but it really just seems more like it'll ultimately cannibalize some of their enthusiast line that was just released. Basically, the 4-core, 4-core 8-thread, and 6-core 12-thread line will more than likely become utterly pointless if these leaks are true regarding Coffee Lake. With that said, unlike the expensive enthusiast line, Coffee Lake will more than likely be at least decently competitive against Ryzen, given Intel prices at well, of course. Honestly, either way you look at it, more cores for everyone seems to be the future of desktop computing. Hopefully games will catch up to use them soon. So while that ends today's video, what do you think about Intel letting go of their current motherboard crop? And are you excited for Coffee Lake? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.